Hi everybody, Peter Vogt here, the Introvert Advocate, taking a nice walk here on a early March summer day, or winter day in northern Minnesota. Today's video is about defining your introversion by what it is versus what it is not. Let me tell you what I mean by that. If you'd be willing, or if you've got a few minutes, just take this little experiment sometime. Go to the thesaurus.com uh, thesaurus website, or any, any thesaurus will do, even a printed one. But I always use thesaurus.com because it's handy. And type in the following two words, both of them adjectives. The first word is extroverted, as in he's an extroverted person. And guess what will happen when you type in the word extroverted? Guess what words you'll see. You're going to see words that are what I would call happy words, positive words. Words like sociable, gregarious, friendly, outgoing, all defined in basically positive terms and describing what that type of person is like. Now for the second part of the experiment, go to thesaurus.com again or don't leave there in the first place and type in the word introverted as in he's an introverted person and what are you going to see now well you're going to see some slightly different tones in the words and some slightly different words in terms of their negativity and you're going to see words that describe pretty much what it, introverts are not in terms of extroversion so, for example, you're going to see reserved. You're going to see shy, standoffish, stuck up, <laughs> I don't know, arrogant, withdrawn. All these different words that I would say are not happy words, that are negative words. And man, they're not, they're not speaking in the positive at all. They're, they're all basically, I shouldn't say all, but most of them are words that describe introverts and in terms of what they're lacking from an extroverted standpoint. Allow me to just go on a miniature rant for a minute here. That really wears thin after a while. I don't know about you, but if you're an introvert, that really wears thin to, be, to hear those kind of words attached to yourself. I mean, imagine if the shoe was on the other foot and when you went to thesaurus.com, hello, hi. hi puppies. Yeah. <laughs> My friends, the dogs, I gotta say hi to the dogs. I'm a dog person and a cat person. But anyway, imagine if you went to thesaurus.com and when you looked up extroverted, instead of all those happy, positive words, you saw more negative words, the stereotypical words, you know, loud mouthed. I don't know, in your face, won't shut up, impulsive, all of that sort of thing. And then when you went to introverted, you got all the positive words there, all the happy words, defined by what they are versus what they are not. You know, focused and deliberative and analytical and all the rest. Well, of course that doesn't happen that way. And I'm not here to do anything except point it out because it's probably not going to change. But what I am here to say is that it's important for you as an introvert to not fall into the trap of buying into those types of words, but to instead go ahead and define yourself as an introvert by what you are and what your strengths are instead of what you are not and what your so-called weaknesses are. For example, some people may call you standoffish. I don't know. But what if, what if, on the other hand, you are really, really good at working on your own, working solo? So it's not so much that you're standoffish or that you don't want to work on a team or that you can't, because you probably can. What if it's just a, a simple matter that you are really good at bearing down, focusing, not having to be entertained and babysat by the boss or whoever it might be, 
and getting your freaking work done. What if it's that? Well, you know what? It usually is that. And so as you go about your days and in the months and weeks ahead, when you hear these kinds of words attached to introversion or if, you know, if you're like many of us, you do it yourself because you've heard them your whole life. It's hard not to. Just work very hard on trying to turn that ship around because you have many, many strengths as an introvert. And you have many, many things going for you that are not simply lack of extroversion. They're just different from it. So keep that in mind, like I said, in the days and the weeks ahead. And I really do appreciate you watching these videos, including this one. If you've got someone in your life particularly an introvert if you're not an introvert yourself and if you're a fellow introvert if you are an introvert yourself if you've got other people in your life who could who could use hearing this kind of message please share this with them please share this video with anybody that you feel might find it useful or helpful and i'd love to hear your comments on it too uh, in the comments it would be great to hear from you in the meantime if you'd like to hear and learn more about what i'm up to I'm always writing about this stuff. I'm always talking about this stuff. I've been doing it for 25 years and it never continues. It, 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 it never ceases to be fun for me. But anyway, if you'd like to learn more about what I'm up to and uh, some of the things I have to offer for introverts, you can just visit me at my website at introvertinsights.com. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.